Welcome back. It's been a while since we've done a, a Zashiki run. Let's give it a try. This is a bit of an easier map, so we're probably going to win. Um, but it's not necessarily an easier fight for the boss fights. The boss fight is quite difficult if uh, if you get like the matriarch. I have gotten better at fighting her here, but it's it's still ultimately a pretty challenging um, fight. Even with my uh, my improved skills. I've uh, I really want to get a channel banner going on. Like, there's so much artwork that I want, and I have friends who are like offering to do work for me and stuff. And um, I don't know. I've I've told them both that I could use a couple things, and neither of them have actually done anything. And I'm not mad about that because it's like I'm not paying them, so like I don't don't do it if you don't want to do it. Right? Not not a big deal. It, it matters not at all to me, but um. It does, uh, it is disappointing to be, like, excited about something when somebody says that, oh yeah, like, I can do this for you. And they're like, ah, I kind of lost interest. I'm like, that's, that's cool. Like, I'm disappointed because I would have liked it and it would have been sick, but, like, I, I can't be mad at them for not wanting to do it. Like, they weren't getting paid for it. They decided they didn't want to do it. It's, it's fine. Um, but I do have friends who said they'd do it. They'll probably do it at some point. It might take, like, a few months. Um... But yeah, it'll probably get done at some point. But there's a lot of stuff that I want, like um, a channel banner. I've been streaming on Twitch a little bit, not much, not much. I think I've done one or two streams so far. Um, I'm not sure if I want to stream or not. No, uh, I'm not sure how I want to stream because I know I want to. But that's a commitment, right? In order to actually grow with any sub significant growth. You have to, you have to, like, do daily streams, or like at least have a schedule consistently, right? Consistency is key. It's, you know, with with YouTube, that's one thing because I can spend three hours on Sunday, June seventh, and uh, knock out all of the episodes for the week, and then I have consistently two episodes a week for three hours of work on one day. I mean, maybe like six hours of work, five hours of work, because I have to do thumbnails and titles and descriptions and all that so there, there is a bit more work but like five hours on one day gets me all of the videos for the week and I'm able to upload you know 14 episodes in that week and that is uh is helpful because I can actually do that whereas with streaming if I wanted to have like a daily stream I have to actually stream every day I have to actually be there every single day uh, whereas with YouTube, I don't. I have a backlog, right? If I, even if I forgot to record today, I could still record tomorrow. Like there's, there's quite the backlog. Um, tomorrow is the limit. If I don't record by tomorrow, um, then that's, that's you know, a big deal. Um, but also, this is the what seventh episode. So this is like 105, I think. Is it 105? One, two, three, four, five, six. 106. I don't know. Something, something in that general range. Um, like 105 or 106. So this will be going up in like four days or five days or something like that. So I've got yeah, three days. One, two, three, four days? I don't know. Look, man, it's confusing. So it's be going up in, no wait, six days? Look, it, it, numbers, days, it's all blending together. It's all the same thing, really. Um, this will be going up in a while, so even if I like stop recording today, I can record the rest of them on another day. Anyway, not that big a deal. Streaming can't do that, so I'm not sure how I want to structure the streams. Um, I know that I want to do them. I really want to do them because I have fun doing them. I enjoy streaming. It's just I don't I don't enjoy having that. I mean, that's that's kind of bringing it back to to why 100 episodes is such a big deal to me. That commitment is not something. I just want you up here right now, please. That commitment is something that I'm not really good at doing, you know? So, um, ultimately, we have to uh, figure out a way to get around that. Which might be three days a week, but like, I just I don't want to have a specific day that I have to stream on, you know? 
I don't want to have to stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So what if Monday comes and I feel like I'm not, I don't really want to stream. I can't just not stream because that's bad for the channel's engagement and growth. I have to stream anyway. You know, I can't just not stream because I don't feel like it. Then there's no point in streaming in the first place, right? Because I, I, I want to have actual growth and actually turn this into a thing. Anyway, I want to start streaming and uh, to try to figure out how the um, how it's going to work exactly. I'm not sure how to format it. I don't even know what games I want to do. Killing Floor 2 isn't really the best game, at least not the way that I do it. Because if I do like just these four round Hell on Earth runs that I've, I've been doing on stream, goodness gracious. Um, you're looking at like a three hour stream, which is probably the length I'd be doing. Um, a three hour stream of like, I don't know. Really? Really, dude? You couldn't even make it to me? You're gonna like a three hour stream where I just do like 14 games in, in one stream and that's just, if I'm doing that three days a week, I'm already doing that on the day for, for recording for the week. And then I'm also doing that like three days a week for streaming. That's that's gonna result in some burnout for sure. Um, that is that is definitely gonna lead to burnout. No question about that at all. So I'm like, I don't really want to do that. And then there's also, well, how do I how do I stream? Because I do want to stream. I enjoy it. I have fun doing it. Uh, it would be fantastic to be able to do that full time. And not full time. Um, but to be able to like use that as a way of like making income. And again, if I was making income, I'd be able to justify that, right? Like I could say that I stream from from X to Y, and that's my job, right? Like I I, I don't have trouble going to job to, to work. Right? Like when I'm scheduled for a nine to five, I go for a nine to five, right? Like that's really goodness gracious. My aim there. I want you just to come up, please, and thank you. Um, like, I have, I have no problem with going to a 9-to-5 job. So if it were my job to stream, that's just one thing. But it's not. So it's just it's hard to motivate myself to do it when I just don't really feel like streaming. And then if I am if I know I'm not going to be able to do it when I'm uh, not feeling like streaming, I'm like, well... Why even bother starting? But then there's also like, well, I'm not... If I just do it, and even if I miss a few days, I might get to the point where I'm eventually able to make money on it. And then I can justify making it to all of them. It's like, it's, it's a whole thing. But anyway, I want channel art for Twitch as well. Is the moral of the story. I kind of want a new avatar. But I uh, I don't think it's worth going for that yet. Because that's that's going to be like a whole rebranding thing. Because uh, that's, that's my avatar at this point. That's used in thumbnails. And uh, it'll probably be used in my channel artwork. And, you know, all of that. Right? So, like... There's, there's some... I want to burn through this a little bit quicker, please, and thank you. So there's there's some brand recognition going on with the avatar that I have, so changing that right now would probably not be a great idea. I do want to change it, because I've had it for a long time. I like it, but, it, I mean, I don't know. It's just it's time to change, right? Um, but I think I'm just going to wait, like, a year or two. Um, or maybe less. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'll, wait, I'll wait a while on YouTube to build up that brand, and then uh, we'll change over the brand recognition at that point. Maybe it'd be best to change it now before that point, but uh, while I'm growing, I feel like it's maybe more important to have the, uh, the easily recognizable brand, you know, so that people who, uh, who see me just on Reddit or something like that, they're able to be like, oh, hey, it's you. Like, I remember that picture. Um, whereas they won't necessarily remember Yamajack. And once I'm large and memorable, then people will remember Yamajack. And I can change the picture uh, a little bit easier. Uh, whereas for right now, that's that's kind of acting as marketing and, and promotion and all of that. So, I don't know. Maybe I have a poor understanding of, of how this all works. But that's, that's my understanding of it. And I'm sticking to it. Who knows if it's the right way to do it. But that's what we're doing. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that I want to do. I'm not good at graphic design, and then I, like, right now I'm out of money because I don't have a job. 
And it's like, well, to get any kind of good work done, I'd have to pay for it. And it's just, it's a whole deal, you know? It's a whole big deal. It's a whole spiel. Ooh, is that 25? Heck yeah, it is! 25 Gunslinger, we got another Prestige, let's go! I hate leveling up the Prestige at the start. We're not having more early game Prestige, probably. Um, I will probably be leveling up the Prestige to like 20 off camera. What I do is I just, I do hard matches until about like level 5 or 10, and then I'll just, I'll play like Suicidal or, or Endless Hard or something like that. But for the first five levels, I usually just do hard mode matches online. And that's what I, I enjoy it, right? It's fun. So that's what I do. That's what I do. And it gets me uh, to level five pretty easily. And then I have the, the recoil reduction and I can actually play the game. Wait. No, this one. Then I can actually play the game and that's fantastic because it means I actually uh, can shoot things in the face and then also, shoot them in the face again, because the recoil isn't so bad that I can't do that, you know? Yeah. Hello, two flesh pounds. You know what? You get enraged too. Join the party. This is a, a map where I can easily handle as many flesh pounds as you want to throw at me. I hate this, like, see how high the recoil goes on that? It's incredible. I can't I can't aim with the, the fanfire too well. Like, at a distance, anyway. If they're close up, they get just beat down. But if they're far away, good luck, man. How do you even aim at that? I'll get used to it over time, I guess. I'm only at, I don't know, 400 or 500 uh, hours in Killing Floor 2 at this point. Why did I reload? Just don't reload. Easy. Uh, once I'm at like, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 hours, I'll probably be a little bit better at that. I'm, I'm starting to be a pretty good gunslinger though, eh? You know, I'm not, not the best gunslinger out there, obviously. But like... I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. I'm probably somebody who, uh... People might want on a team at this point, you know? Am I somebody who... People are like, oh man, I wish I had Yamajack on my team. Not nah, probably not, but <laughs> am I somebody who could get on a team and people would be like, yeah, you're carrying your weight. I don't know, maybe, probably, right? I feel like I'm up to par on uh, as Gunslinger anyway. Up to par with uh, just the basic hello. Um, like level of skill necessary to be useful in a Hell on Earth team. Maybe even like control difficulty. I do a lot of endless, and uh, we make it to like wave 50, 60 pretty commonly, and I'm at like top one or two kills. Uh, I'm also taking out most of the big Z, so like, I don't know. To me, that means I'm doing pretty good, right? That means I'm doing pretty all right. You just, uh, that's the one thing I don't like about this map, is it takes so, cause they spawn way over there, right? They have to walk over, and then you kill them, and another one spawns way over there. And they have to walk on over. We'll see some more spawns coming up in a moment here, right? Yeah, some more coming out of there. and It's just a time-consuming process, really. Okay, I want to get better at knocking your face in. I want to get better at knocking your face in, too, but I'm pretty good at that now. And you remember when, uh, when we started this series... I could barely bash anything. Pathetic, right? Like, I'm so much better now. Like, look at that bash, man. That's amazing. Heck yeah. Let's go. Uh, I don't really need anything, so we'll just, I mean, we could upgrade the 9 mil, but I'd rather just toss a big hunk and pile of cash everywhere. That sounds like a lot more fun to me. 
Alright, so the spawn's right in there. Toss a bunch of nades. Nade the boss up immediately. Oh, I didn't get in. Dang. This guy is pretty easy on Zashiki. I'm, I'm showing myself. Can you show yourself? Nope. Alright, so he comes up here, and he can't actually shoot us for a bit. So we just unload into his face, and by the time he actually gets to us, he should be pretty much... Oh, I thought he couldn't make... I thought he couldn't reach that far. I mean, we're too far away for his spread to really be able to do any damage anyway. But, you know, hey. Take what you can get, right? Where'd you go? Is he down there? Yeah, he's down there. Uh, he could come up on the other side. So that's the thing with the boss. Is he can come from there too. Because he doesn't follow the same pathfinding. He doesn't necessarily always come up this way. He usually does. But uh, he can also not. Just stand far away and his spread will uh, be highly manageable. Yeah, like this one he probably will be coming up. Oof. I didn't even know I shot him. <laughs> I didn't even know I shot him. I was looking for him and then I accidentally clicked. <laughs> I didn't even know I was... Wow. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, bud. I didn't mean to. I really didn't. Good old water. I love water. Alright, well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.